The only drum and bass sound system in the world. The world. The world. Valve is, is a sound thing. Chucky used to use amps called valve amps. A lot of old sound systems used to use valve amplifiers, which had a really warm sound to them. And they, the longer you play them, the warmer and rounder the bass got, basically, out of these amplifiers. So that's what it's an expression of sounds for me, the name of the label. It's, a, it's, in, it's a warm, you know what I mean, fat label in terms of sound. And it was that whole um, fascination with bass, you know what I'm saying? It was like that unique free, and you had uh, LFO, and then you had these people that copy them and whatever, but it was that was the driving thing, it was the bass. Yeah. high bass boxes. Mm -hmm. We don't have the, the boxes that do the low bass because that's not a commercial frequency. Yeah. Pop music doesn't use that frequency. So these PA companies only make bass for pop music, you know what I'm saying? But basically we built our whole system. Some companies take years, you know, Turbo Sound, all these big companies, they take years to develop systems. You know what I'm saying? We developed our own system on a low budget over a period of one year. And I think it sounds excellent. You've got to get the acoustics right, the dynamics have to be spot on, you know what I'm saying? In every angle, your crossover points, you've got to get your bass and mid, your highs, everything's got to, be, got to be right, you know what I'm saying? And it took us about a year just to get the tuning right. We had to get loads of different drivers, basically speaker components from all different companies all over the world and run tests with them, you know what I'm saying, against other products and make sure we get the right roll off and EQ dynamic points. Our main focus is bass, so the bass is the most important thing. We use a classic, classic bass cabinet called a Scoop Bass Bin, which is used by Saxon, Cox, and all the Jamaican sound systems. We basically modernised the classic bass bin. You know what I'm saying? So brought it up to date. And um, the rest of the system, it was just designed to fit with drum and bass, basically. Do you know what I'm saying? The amps, everything, we had a lot of stuff custom built just to make sure it sounds right within what we want, sort of thing. It was a stage where at one point we couldn't afford um, any mid range and top end, so we had to uh, physically build them. Carl designed these speakers and it's like made out of, uh, what was it made out of? Now? Um, what flares and stuff? Yeah, it was uh, ply, but it's yeah, like yeah, birch, birch, birch right. ply. And, 16 of them. 16 man. of them, and it's okay. You think yeah. 16 is like a small number, but when you're making them with your hands and that. Hands, sore hands. <laughs> we didn't sleep for like four days. Four nah, days. This is five days, man. <laughs> five we, days. Started, we, started, we started on Monday, we mm. ran out of time by. Um, we ran out of time on actually on 24 Friday. 24 hours a day. Yeah. Sun Building up, these cabinets by hand, glue and wood and sawing and screwing and spraying that to get the masks and spray them all after. The whole thing was, was just a sick, nightmare. It was, it was pain. It's not a joke, we're talking about six, three seven and a half ton lorries pulled to the brim to the of the rim of the sound system. Yeah, it's like a combo. Bass beans on top of bass beans. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people think we're going to build it. Yeah, it's definitely. I know that people just think, oh, they're talking shit, they ain't building it. <laughs> hey, they ain't building no studio, they're not doing nothing, mate, they're just talking fucking shit <laughs> and making tunes for V. Yeah. A sound system of this size and take it on the road is a bonus. So I didn't think I was going to build something this big. I'm telling you, I'm showing you, you stop This is a warning. I'm telling you, I'm showing you, you stop This is a warning. I'm telling you. Oh, DJ! Oh, DJ! Oh, DJ! Oh, DJ. Oh, DJ. Oh, DJ. Oh, DJ.
sound system was heaving, it was absolutely rinsing. The presence of the sound system was completely in your face. You got full body resonance. It's a wicked sound system. We had a really good time, didn't we? Good time. Danced all night. That was fucking the bollocks, mate. I well enjoyed it. Thank you very much. There were people coming up to me. I mean, I have friends and uh, uh, they're coming up and they're saying that you know they had baggy pants on and. Uh, you know, their boxer shorts were shaking and people's hair was shaking and the wind was blowing it and it was good. Yeah, every time I walk through the crowd, any event we do, I get people coming up to me, tackling me. The reputation of the sound system is now completely worldwide. Wherever we go, wherever we go, every country we've played in, literally, and that's not like, we've played a lot of places, a lot of states in America, we've played Japan, we've been everywhere, we've literally, yeah. you know what I mean? And, um, and the reputation's there. The first thing that comes out of their mouth is, can you bring the valve sound system over? And then you explain to them, you know, you can't shit 16 times. Um, for me, you know what I mean, hearing Valve sound, the best thing about it is like, hearing everything in the place shake. I was in the mass and he was playing and like, everything was just moving just like this, you get what I'm saying? And it was wicked, you get what I'm saying? The whole place was trembling and you know what I mean? It was just awesome. Every time I go abroad, people are saying, what's the Valve sound system like? Do you think they're going to bring it here? Do you think they're going to bring it to America? Do you think they're going to bring it into Europe and all that? It's become like a, like a legend and uh, Put it this way, it's the first time I ever wore earplugs. So them man to be building that sound now, nothing but respect for that, and this sound is ridiculously good, trust me. I've been on the MC and the set is just wicked, loud, big, clarity, heavy, wow man, it's going, trust me. DJ. Never ever happy with what stage we're at. We could, we're never saying, well, this is it, and, and we're great, and we're fucking, we're big shots because we're now on this level. I like to always think that we're always progressing, and we're never ever, do you know what I mean? Never content with where yeah, we are. Yeah, never content. Never always do a bit better. Never no, we're near it. Yeah, we're just starting. Man. Yeah, we're gonna buy a club, basically, and we're gonna permanently install half of the system into a club. That's like that is the goal of this whole fucking project, as well as having the sound system, is having our own club. Club is the best sound base. system in the world, yeah. basically. So, yeah. Hardcore drum and bass, you know what I'm saying? Clean and raw, uncut, right? I mean, to the fucking commercial public, man. Right?